Hey, 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 happy Thursday night, guys. Um, trying to make it better about going live in here at least once a week, even if it's just a few minutes to show you guys a few things. And tonight I'm going live to show you how to use Shadow Sense in um, your eyebrows to fill in your eyebrows. So I was very skeptical and very weary of Shadow Sense. Because one, I thought it was weird that it's a cream to powder, so that kind of freaked me out. Like, wet eyeshadow? Like, that makes no sense to me. And I was really scared at some of the pigmentation in these colors, because I thought there's no way, like, I'm not good at eye stuff anyway, and I didn't understand how to use it. And I guess I finally, like, jumped on the bandwagon and tried it a long time ago, and I say now how much I freaking love it and so I just wanted to show you a few ways you can use it um so like I said it's a cream to powder so it's going to start out in a tube like this and you have your little wand in there so it looks a little bit like lip sense in a way hey Kristen and thank you very much um it's 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 kind of freaks out a little bit but when it dries it dries like a powder so it's cream to powder. And the reason I like it a lot, I guess, was I used to have the little palette. Okay, I'm gonna be really honest. I used to buy the Alme palettes, okay, where it shows you like, here's this color, here's your transition color, here's your lid color. Cause you know, that's how good I was with makeup with the little brushes in it. Yeah, it was awesome. But what made me mad about that is it doesn't travel well at all. And if you don't like one of the colors, you're kind of stuck with it because you have a palette and these let's be honest you've seen them all over the internet all over Sephora or whatever some of these palettes of eyeshadow and all these different colors for like bronzer and stuff they're huge palettes and they're very expensive and you don't get to pick what's in those well with these little guys you get to pick whatever you want and they, they last forever I've had my candlelight shadow sense that's lasted me over a year because when it starts getting dry you take that little stopper out and if you search in this group, you'll see um, where I show you guys how to do that. You take that little stopper out and it's like it has like a full nother tube in there. Very well worth the money. So you can pick your colors. It's not a palette. It's not going to, you drop it on the floor and I always, always like it crumbles everywhere or I drop it in my bag or I take it on an airplane and I get to a hotel and the whole thing's like crumbled on the top of it. And I get so mad because here you are spending so much money on this palette of eyeshadows. Yeah, Kristen, like you only use, use like three of the seven colors, right? And you, you, you don't get to pick them and then it's all crumbles and falls apart and you're like dusting off the lid of your eyeshadow trying to use the rest, okay? Um, this stuff will not crease. Um, I actually just got my mom some because um, I'm like you need to wear some shadow sense on your eyes so it doesn't crease like if you have like oily skin or oily eyelids it's not gonna crease it's not gonna move I've had this on you can rub it you can walk out in the rain you can sweat with it it's not going anywhere I mean it's not coming off once it sets it's good to go it's very easy to blend so even though it kind of freaks you out this one is mocha java because I'm gonna show you guys how to use it on your eyebrows but even though um, it comes out like that. Mm, my light's being funny. It's so blendable. I mean, if you get freaked out and you get too much color, you just keep using your brush and it blends so nicely. In smudges, you can do a smoky eye and everything. Security told me this week I don't have to take these out as liquids in my carry-on. Really? That's nice. Did not know that. I always just stick it in like all my other stuff anyway. But that's good to know. And it also depends on which security line you're going through at different airports and who's working because some TSA agents don't like their jobs or people very much. So let's just leave it at that. <laughs> but anyway, it's very easy to blend and very, very easy to work with. So like, if you think like you've got a lot on it, just keep blending it out. Keep blending, blending, blending. It'll, it'll come off. I mean, it's awesome. So it's blendable and the also another thing I really like about it is they have anti-aging stuff in there. So 
Who doesn't want Cineplex Complex anti-aging for your eyes? Hello? Nobody I know, because I know I can use it. I'll use that stuff all over in every single form layer possible. You give me all the Cineplex Complex in the world. Because <laughs> I'm almost 40 and I don't want to look that age. <laughs> Anyways, so like I said, those are the reasons I like it. Another reason I like it is they're very versatile. I'm going to show you how I use it in my eyebrows. You can use it as a blush. You just put it on as a blush and you blend that out. You can use it in your eyebrows like I'm going to show you. You can even use it as a lip color so you could like sandwich it between two other lip colors to make another lip color. You can use it as a contour. You can use it as highlighter on your face. You can use it as a concealer. I've used, I think I've shown you in the previous posts and then my Instagram stories how I use it as a concealer also when you have like um, a pimple or something to cover up which is pretty cool. You can also use it as an eyeliner so Onyx which I don't have down here with me or I do and it's gonna take me a long time to find but you just use a really little brush and you just kind of take it off the wand and you can use it as an eyeliner. I have a lot of clients that use it as eyeliner so then you could have any color of the rainbow of eyeshadow as an eyeliner. So I think that was cool. So blush, eyebrows, lips, contour, highlight, concealer, eyeliner. This stuff is awesome. And that's why I like Cenogen so much because you don't have to buy like a ton of products because a lot of our products are so versatile. You can use them in so many different ways and they last forever and they're great quality. They don't have a lot of chemicals or anything in it like that. I mean, I just can't speak highly enough about this. Like if even if I wasn't a distributor, I probably would continue because I just love their products so much. They're well worth it, well worth it. I actually have been using my lip scents as blush. You have, good, which color? Because I think a lot of people have been using um, Pink Posy. I like that one as a blush and you can also use it as a bronzer. I don't think I had that on there. So also you can use it as a bronzer with some of the colors. I thought that was pretty cool. Anyway, so the two I'm gonna show you, and if you search in the group and tips and tricks, I have a big brow tutorial. So what color hair you have, and it kind of matches what kind of shadow sense is gonna go good with your brows. A lot of distributors I know have been using either Mocha Java or Smoke Topaz or a combination of both. Now you don't have to reuse this. We do have a product called Brow Sense and I'm gonna be honest with you, I've never used it. So I can't tell you whether it's great or not great. Um, I've heard things both ways. I've heard some people who like it and I've heard other people who don't like it. Another product you can use of ours is our um, Black Brown or Brown Eyeliner Pencils. People have used that in their brows. We do have a brow since I said it comes in a tube where you have like this little tiny paintbrush so you paint on like your eyebrow hairs and then it has another comb like brush at the end that you brush it out as. So you could also use our brow scents. Um, I know people have used that and then I just personally, I don't know. I'm not gonna spend extra money on a product that I use very little of, I guess. I mean, that would last me years and years and years because I don't do my eyebrows every single day and in fact, I just started doing them. And so I wanted to show you on one eyebrow the difference if you do fill them in compared to the other one. So I think I'm gonna do this one. And so what I have is Smoke Topaz, which is kind of weird because it's got like a green tint to it. But when you put it on your eyebrows, it doesn't look green. In fact, that's what I'm wearing on my eyes right now. To me, it looks more like of a, like a grayish color to me. And so, or on my eyebrows, on my eyelids. And then another one a lot of people have been using is Mocha Java. And that's kind of like this matte brown color. Um, what I found works best for me, it just kind of depends on what I'm doing for that day. But a lot of people take those little tattoo ring cups that you can buy like a ton of them on Amazon and they take a little bit off and mix it. But what I've been doing honestly is just swiping a little bit and using a combination of both. And I'll kind of show you what the Mocha Java looks like and then I'll show you what the um, mixture of Mocha Java and Smoked Topaz looks on me. Um, I would say if you were gonna start out, I'd start out with something like Mocha Java because you can get a little heavy handed with the Smoked Topaz and kind of freak yourself out a little bit. 
So what you can also do is buy these little brushes. I think I got this one. This is just an e.l.f. eyebrow duo brush. I got it from Target. It was like, not I don't know, $3. It wasn't much. So you use this end, obviously, to paint on your eyebrow or to fill in your brows where you need it. And then you use this end to comb it out. So it takes a very little bit. And I'm going to show you. This is the Mocha Java. And I'm going to show you how little it takes. It takes a very little bit, like that much. I mean, I just dotted the end of the stopper here. And so all you're gonna do is probably for, if you have some little stragglers and you wanna get like a super crisp line, comb down your eyebrow hairs a little bit so that you can kind of see where your eyebrow stops. And my hair is getting in my way. Hmm. Anyways, so all you're gonna do is you're gonna start to fill in where your eyebrows already naturally are and just fill the sucker in. <laughs> it's really easy. If you have a brow, just start with. Now some of you people you actually have like brow stamps you can buy or like a stencil for your eyebrows if you have no eyebrows. And even people that have their eyebrows microbladed still fill them in, so, you know. And I have this nice, like, I don't know, weird end to my eyebrows, so when I comb them out, you'll see how nicely it fills in. So you're just going to take a little bit off the wand with your brush, and then you're just going to fill in your eyebrow. Like I said, this is Mocha Java, and I usually do, like, a combination, but I just wanted to show you on my brows. Mocha Java would be a good one to start with because it's not so dark as like Smoke Topaz is. Then all you're going to do is take the end of your eyebrow brush and just comb it out. And what it does is it just disperses all that shadow sense completely through your eyebrow. So it's not like you see little strokes of it anywhere and it blends in super nice. And what's nice about it is it's going to stay all day. So nobody can like, if you, if it's rainy or something, or if anybody's, you know, looking at your eyebrows or anything and you like go like this, they're not gonna come off because that shadow stencil is gonna stay on all day, which is super nice. So you comb out your eyebrow and there you go. There's the difference between the one I did with Mocha Java and the one that has nothing. You see how it just kind of like frames your eye a little bit and frames your face and give you a little bit more definition than if you don't do it without. And all I did was just basically fill in where I don't have any. So that's the Mocha Java. And what I do is I mix the two. And I don't even mix the two in a tattoo ring. All I do is just touch the wands with my brush. Like just grab a little bit, grab a little bit, and start going away. It's really easy to do. And it's really easy to fill. I'm going to show you a little bit with the Smoke Topaz. Again, I just have just a very little bit to show you how it kind of darkens it up a little bit and why I um, kind of use a mixture of both. And especially like if I'm wearing darker colored clothes, I feel like it kind of just completes your look to kind of fill in those brows. And we all know when we grew up in the 90s, brows were not in. So some of you maybe have not recovered from that yet. <laughs> um, I've always had a lot of hair in my eyebrows, so I've never had to worry about it. But anyway, again, you just kind of comb it through and you can see how that kind of just like darkened up my eyebrow just a little bit because of the smoke topaz and how easily it blends and you just comb it through. And seriously, I've talked to you guys about it more than it takes. It takes like two minutes and it adds so much. So. Here's the one with Mocha Java and Smoke Topaz, and there's the one without. If you guys can see and tell the difference of just how much more done up, I guess it looks. So, anyways, that's how you do the brow scents with shadow scents. Like I said, you can use shadow scents in so many different ways. Those are the reasons that I love it. If you want to try some, let me know. I'm going to be placing an order probably 
tonight or tomorrow night. If you didn't see the good offer they have going on with the collagen night pack, the lip volumizer and the glossy gloss sale going on, you save a crazy amount of money. The night pack is really awesome, totally worth it. And I'm also hosting with some other gals on my team a skincare challenge group that you can join. Even if you do have it, um, you have this skincare and you just wanna try some of the other products, let me know. I think I have, I wanna say like seven spots left, maybe six, I can't remember. But um, that's gonna be filling up fast and it's all online, super fun. Get a hold of me so you get on that. If you wanna place an order for anything or if you need help picking out an eyebrow color, uh, let me know. Again, look for it in the tips and tricks on the page. And I just want to say thank you guys for watching and have a good night. Keep it short and sweet. Have a good one. Thanks.